What's happening people? Welcome back to the Sound Design channel. My name is La and today we're going to be looking at this kind of epic LFO pad. Uh, so have a little listen to it and then we're going to dive into the Sound Design. Nice. So yeah, if you uh, if you're kind of new to sound design, this will be a very useful tool to have for you. But uh, if you've been doing sound design for a while, this isn't really anything new. It's quite a, a simple sound, but it's definitely a very useful tool to have in your in your toolbox. Uh, so let's dive into the sound design. I'm going to just uh, duplicate the channel. I'll take off all the processing, and we'll just listen to it like this as it, as a raw sound. <laughs> So you notice it's pretty much the same. All of them with this processing here is just kind of adding more distortion with like a pedal and an amp and echoed it out a little bit so it doesn't just die off straight away. But let's have a look at the sound design. As always, you can grab the sounds that we show here in the preset packs, which are linked down below. So this is from the new Modern Melodic Techno pack, um, which I'll, yeah, I'll link down below. So yeah, let's uh, initialize this and then we will dive into the sound design. Okay, yeah, so as I said before, this is quite a simple sound in terms of uh, what you need to do to get it to where it needs to be. There's not too much that you need to incorporate into it. It's just a two sawtooths. So we're gonna turn this one on. And then we're gonna put some unison on this one. Well, on both of them, but this one can have eight voices of unison. And this one we're gonna go to five voices of unison. We're not gonna touch the detune or anything like that. We're gonna filter it, turn this filter on. We'll have a listen. Let me just take this processing off. So that's pretty much the tone that we want, but we don't have any movement. So what we do is bring this filter all the way down. We're gonna bring the volume of this down and this one down. We're also gonna add a noise oscillator here. This is just gonna be when it opens up, it's gonna come in, but we bring the volume of that down as well. So what we're gonna do is bring in the volume of all of these with this LFO. So we attach it onto here, maybe go around there here, all the way over, here, all the way over, and then here, we can go all the way over on this one, all around here. Okay, so we'll listen now. Okay, so we got the movement there, but it's not the right speed. So you can do this many different ways. We can do it, the way that we're gonna do it is in a way that we can control the speed. And so we go to uh, the loose rate here. So if you take off the BPM, it means the rate will be loose, and it means we can do this. Okay, but you don't want to be doing that with your mouse here. You can do it with a macro. So if you sign a macro here, and then you can just put the rate at a slow pace and then it can increase. So this is the maximum that it's going to go to. And then if I do this, that's exactly what we did with the sound. The only other things to add here are some reverb and delay so we'll just add some reverb delay we can filter this a little bit like this put the ping pong on put the mix down a little bit and the feedback down and then the reverb here we can just have a little bit of a low cut the size can be pretty big because it's going to be like a big epic sound the decay we can chill a little bit four seconds is quite a lot let's have a listen <laughs> there we go right so that's pretty much the sound and I just wanted to show you guys another way that you can do this if you just want the synth to kind of do this for you rather than you uh, doing the automation not that it really makes too much difference it's just kind of different ways of doing it and I thought it'd be good to show you guys that so what you want to do is you take an envelope so maybe don't take don't take envelope one because that's usually the it's the amp envelope that's controlling the amplitude we want to just use this one which isn't being used and with this we just put the sustain all the way down and the decay you can have it like pretty long here for now i'm just going to bypass this because i don't want it to be controlling anything and then we're going to put this onto the rate of lfo uh, lfo one so then if we go and now that's 
going really quick and then it's slowing down. And then if you go the other way, so say if I go this way. So that's going from really slow to then really quick. So say if I decay this even more. And the longer the decay, obviously the longer it takes for it to go from here to here. So that's just different ways you can do it. You can also do it with an LFO, attaching that onto the rate as well. Uh, but yeah, the way that we're doing it with this one, we'll just take this off, put this back on. We're going to use this. Oh, put this back. Okay, one other last thing I want to show you is you can play around with the shape here. So you could just do it manually. You can drag this over and turn it into a saw down, and this will give this kind of uh, rhythm. Right, because it's aggressively hitting this wall and then it's decaying, which is giving it the kind of plucky feeling. And that's one that I kind of like using. Uh, this is a more of a smoother feeling to it. Okay, so that's pretty much the sound. I hope that was uh, helpful for you guys. And then we're just going to go into the processing. So the processing here is pretty simple. I've just put a compressor on. So as it opens up and it gets louder, I'll just go into the uh, original here. So as it as it increases, so with the automation, it's increasing in rate. The cutoff filter is opening up and it's getting more aggressive. So I'm just compressing it slightly to stop the volume from, from going really loud. So you can see here, a very small amount of compression. Okay, and then the other automation that I've done here, I think I've done it with this one. Yeah, I have. So I've just automated this pedal. This is just the Ableton pedal. I put it on distortion. I haven't done any other, you know, movement or changes onto this. I've just put it onto that and then put the dry wet up just at the end. Same with this amp. I put an amp onto here and just increase the dry wet just towards the end. And then with this um, echo, same again. I haven't touched it in terms of um, changing any of the parameters. It's just an echo and I've increased the dry wet just towards the end as well. So that just makes it kind of like uh, echo out after it stopped playing. And then there's just a filter after all of the effects and that's just gonna open it up slightly. Without the filter, it starts pretty, uh, like it starts too loud. So I just wanted to filter it in. And there we go, guys. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. As always, if you want to grab the sounds, they're just going to be linked down below. If you want to check out my own content, I have a YouTube channel called Out of the Loop where I do a lot of start to finish videos, talk a little bit about uh, music business and things like that. So yeah, check that out. Thank you, guys. Catch you in the next one.